I think it's a very important that she is reaching out to Latinas, especially in Washington Heights, um, and um, to be able to hear about our issues and our concerns, not only statewide but nationally. I think it was a very smart move on her behalf. It was refreshing to know that uh, she had her finger on the pulse regarding the DREAM Act and regarding education as a, an educator. I'm really concerned about um, the resources that are uh, brought to the Bronx in particular. I live in the Bronx and um, I think that uh, the children in, in, in the, my particular borough, not only throughout New York City but particularly in the Bronx, they're, they are in need of resources that are available. The, uh, the power of the women if we get organized and we get serious about politics. Sometimes we just get excited from time to time, but if we just don't get the point that is united, we can make differences, and as she says, we have to vote, we have to make the right decisions, especially when we are talking about electing people who are going to represent minorities such as ours. I thought what happened today was really exciting. Um, having a, a, a space where a lot of women come together, a lot of Latino women come together, is already exciting in and of itself. Um, but I thought she had wonderful things to say. I think she's very much an ally um, for the community, for women, um, and believes in the effect that we would have if there were if there would be more women in power, more women in leadership, more women, more women in uh, in higher position roles. Um, I think uh, a lot of her values are shared values with our community, um, and and I think I hope things come out of this. I hope this conversation is the first of many. It was it was moving for me to have the senator here listening to our issues. Um, a lot of my colleagues came very prepared with questions for her surrounding jobs, Medicare, Medicaid, affordable housing. Housing and, and other issues and the senator was very well prepared to speak to those issues and, and to tell us what she really you know what what her legislative actions in Congress are and, um, and I'm really appreciative that she took the time to be here with us. I am involved in my community. I am civically engaged where I live um, via the community board um, and, and other uh, and other organizations in my community. So I I I think that we can agree on the issues. What I'm looking for also is how do I uh, you know what is my role? What action do I need to take to make sure that things happen to bring resources to the to the to the communities that are needed for children for the elderly. What do I need to do? What is my role in this? I don't want to sit on the sidelines. I want act, I, I want guidance and direction. What where do who do we need to talk to? What march do we need to participate in? What letter what letters need to be sent out? Um, I want my voice heard and I appreciate that the senator has allowed us the opportunity to share our voices. And I think that, you know, we're we're frustrated with talking and um, and talking about the issues and not seeing a lot of action that would benefit all of us.